For our project, we dealt with hemodialysis. Hemodialysis is a medical procedure that filters harmful waste, salts, and fluid from the body. Hemodialysis is typically done in patients who have end-stage kidney failure, and currently, most of these patients have their treatment performed at dialysis clinics as seen on the right. Around one in seven people have chronic kidney disease, or CKD. In America alone, there are over 700,000 people who have end-stage CKD and require some type of dialysis. Of these, over 400,000 are on hemodialysis. However, less than 10,000 Americans do so from the comfort of their own home. Our goal is to increase this number. The process of hemodialysis is a burden both in terms of cost and time. First, a patient must work with the dialysis clinic to schedule a time that works for them. Then a patient must drive or arrange for transportation to the clinic, wait for the necessary staff, have the treatment, and get back home. This entire process can take up to six hours in total. Because the average dialysis patient goes in for treatment three times a week, that means patients spend an estimated 936 hours per year traveling to, waiting for, and receiving their treatments. In addition, due to the cost of nurses and facilities, it costs roughly $72,000 per year for these procedures. The ability to perform hemodialysis from your own home has a plethora of benefits. It significantly decreases both travel and expenses. It also improves the quality of life of a patient and the patient outcome of the procedure. Lastly, it can be done from the comfort of their own home so they can read, watch TV, play games, or any other activities all with family and friends, all of which could not have been done if they went to a dialysis clinic. We are VascularX and we engineered the Assisted Fistula Cannulation Device or AFCD. Tasked by Becton Dickinson, our goal was to create a medical device that allows hemodialysis patients to self-cannulate from the comfort of their own homes. By removing several of the barriers associated with dialysis treatment, we aim to improve the accessibility, convenience, and cost of traditional dialysis procedures. To help you understand our goal, cannulation is the insertion of a needle into the vein as seen here. Factors someone has to consider when cannulating is angle and depth of insertion, positioning of needle, having steady hands, and stabilizing the needle after cannulating. The first user need was to simplify the process. For this, we wanted to focus on having a reproducible injection and making it a one in hand process so patients could cannulate on themselves. Next, we looked at needle security. For this, we wanted to prevent needle dislodgement during the hemodialysis and to prevent uncomfortable needle movement. Next, we wanted the patients to be able to have better mobility. This is to accommodate both for clinical and patient movement during hemodialysis so patients can do more things that they enjoy. Also, we looked at reducing the bleeding, and for this, we focused on eliminating back and side walling and decreasing the number of puncture it takes to cannulate the patient. Lastly, there were several additional user needs that we looked at, including sterility, making it inexpensive, lightweight, and comfortable. When analyzing the problem, we found out that the largest problem with self-cannulation is a technical skill needed to do it. We want patients to be able to cannulate themselves, so we created a device that bridges their technical skills with trained professionals. The AFCD, which was fitted with ergonomic curvature to fit comfortably on the arm, is first strapped on the arm over the fistula. One of the hardest parts of cannulating oneself is inserting the needle at the proper 35 degree angle. However, our device allows the user to insert the needle into a track that will allow to put that needle into the arm with that exact angle. We also made the track adjustable. So once the needle is inserted to the fistula, the track can be dropped down to snugly fit onto the arm, providing next generation stabilization. Each pack will come with two AFCDs. Both will be placed one upper, one lower arm in order to cannulate for both the inlet and the outlet for hemodialysis. We also created a device that allows for AFCD verification and validation. We used tubes and silicone to actually represent an arm with a fistula. We also wanted to make it as realistic as possible to self-cannulation, so we made the device be able to fit on top of the arm. Due to the inexpensive materials of the kit, we believe users of the AFCD could also purchase it to practice self-cannulation on it before doing it on their own arm. Instead of having a user worrying about the right angle, right position, having a steady hand, and stabilizing the needle after, 
anyone who uses the device only has to push. As seen on the right, it takes many attempts to cannulate yourself, which is extremely problematic. And as seen on the left, our device allows for first attempt cannulation. When looking at the future directions for our device, we have a couple things planned. The first is dealing with intellectual property. For this, we would need to file for a provisional patent. Next, we are looking into FDA approval. Although our device is a class D medical device, we believe we could utilize the de novo pathway to decrease both the time and expenditures it would take to get our device to market. Next, we would design a mechanical model of the device. With this, we could have a larger target audience for people who do not want to cannulate themselves. This would utilize a infrared laser to find the fistula, a motor to insert the needle, and a flow sensor to stop insertion. This obviously would be a device that's a bit more expensive. However, it would be a reusable device that would need to be sterilized before each use, and all the user would have to do is place the device over the fistula. We are Vascular X. Thank you for taking the time to listen to our presentation. Please feel free to reach out to us over LinkedIn if you have any questions.